Hello Chroma devs, I'll show you a few different things here. So we've got a Chroma design guide. We have Chroma animation templates. And when you use the Chroma design guide with the Chroma animation templates, you can create even cooler animations. Looking at the Chroma design guide, you can make animations from sprites. Animations can be made from trail renders. You can take the animation templates and combine with the animation API Taking the black and white templates, you can customize them to be any color you want. You can create chroma animations from particle systems. And again, color them to any style you want. Various options for doing fades. You can change the color intensity of animations. You can convert an animation layer to any color you want to use. You can use lerp color to transition between two different colors. Using Threshold, you can change the color of the highlights of an animation. And with Threshold Min and Max, you can split an animation template into multiple colors. You can also blend animations, and there's various operations they can use. You can either copy one animation layer to another, you can add or subtract them. There's intersection operations, so you can take a Chroma animation template shape and run an animation through that so it only shows in a certain area, like this circle showing a rainbow. You can use the API to change the animation timings so that you can record an animation at a certain speed, and through the API you can speed it up or slow it down. You can reverse the order of an animation so it can play in one direction and play back in another without recording multiple animation templates. You can also combine blending animation layers with inverting colors to get more color combinations. You can duplicate and mirror an animation so it plays forwards and backwards and wraps around. You can insert animation delays which are useful for creating explosion effects to get the timings just right. There's various operations for removing frames so that you can get the animation timings just right. There's also specific operations for trimming the start or end of an animation. You can find a bunch of shape templates in the animation templates. You can do random colors or black and white pixels. And when you combine that with thresholds and timings, you can get all kinds of interesting effects, whether you use it for sparks or rain or that kind of thing. Okay, so check out the Chroma Design Guide. It'll give you a nice visual overview of the animation API. And thanks for watching.